Good evening, YouTube community. It's your boy DJ Too Legit. Today we are doing a video talking all about cable management. I had one of my subscribers that asked me to show him how I use cable management on my desktop because I never really show that part of it. So we're going to do that today. Okay, and now I have everything set up and that's what it looks like from the audience point of view. It looks very clean and very neat. You don't see any wires dangling. You don't see any wires on the floor or anything. It's very neat. It's very clean. So now we're going to get a closer look at the cable management. So this is what it looks like from the front. And as you see, it's very neat. Very neat. And that's what I wanted to show you that even though it's not the traditional podium style where the controller is inside the case and flat, you can still have a neat setup. Now, you do see a bunch of cables back there, but that's because this isn't a real gig. And those would be hidden behind my facade if this was a real gig. But I'm just trying to show you how I hide the cables so that it's out of the audience view. So let's go to the back and I'll show you what I see from my view. So I have the control one right there, the DDJ 1000 right there, and then my Phoenix Pro microphones right there. And see, everything is very neat. And the way I do it is I basically use my controller case to hide a lot of cables, a lot of cables. For example, I've got two cables coming out of the control one. So I got the USB. I just bring it around there, make it go under the case. And then it comes out this way and then plugs into the laptop right there. So you can barely see a cable. Very minimalist right there. And then the other cable is the wireless DMX transmitter. The power cable comes out. I bring it up this way down into the case and inside the case I have a power strip. So I just plug it right into the power strip right there. So you can barely see a wire at all. And then the power cable for the laptop comes out of the laptop, this goes straight down, and then I have it very neatly situated right here with Velcro. I just see that I got that nice and neat with Velcro, and I just slip it right inside there, and it's kind of hidden, tucked away right in there. And then it's also plugged right into the power strip right there. And then the last thing is the Phoenix Pro mics. I have two cables, a power cable comes out of here and it comes right up around this way, right down in there. And it plugs right into the power strip right there. So you can't even barely see that cable just a little bit right there. And then the audio cable comes right out of here. And then I've got it like tucked under the controller case there. Then it's coming up and then it's going right into the controller right there. So once again, that's as neat as you can get it. That's as neat as it can be. <laughs> 
and that's good enough for me. That works. I mean, uh, I suppose if I wanted to, I could make it even neater by taking this right there, pulling it under. Putting it right back in there. And then just sliding it under there like that. You'd be surprised what you can do if you just try with cable management. Cable management is all about trying. Do something. When I first became a DJ, I knew nothing about cable management. And my wires used to just dangle everywhere. But through the years, I have learned that if you try, anything is better than nothing. Okay, two more cables that I need to show you. And that's my two main audio cables coming out of the controller. And then I also have a main power cable right here for the power strip. So what I do is I take the two main cables and I loop them underneath the controller case and bring them around the back right there. And I do the same thing for the power cable. That's the power cable right there. It comes out and it goes under. And sometimes I'll go under or sometimes I'll just bring it this way and bring it around the edge there. But the main thing is get the cables to go in the back of the controller. Don't bring your cables to the front like that. Always to the back. So what happens is those three cables, they come out this way here. And then down here, I got these little clamps that I bought at Home Depot. I got two of them. Let's see if you can show you that. And they were silver and they're 99 cents each. I put white duct tape on mine because I like to make stuff white. <laughs> And I just wanted to show you what the clamps look like before I put white duct tape on them. And I get these at Home Depot for only 99 cents. These are great clamps, man. You can use them for all kinds of things and they're really sturdy and strong. But yeah, that's what they look like. But I got one right there and it's holding those three cables. And then they come down and then at the bottom, I've got another one right there and it's holding them. And it has the three cables completely out of sight from the audience. Let me show you from the audience view. This is what they see. OK. That's what they see, even to the side. That's all they see. All right. And they don't see on the inside because you can't see through that corrugated plastic. So the, the cables are completely hidden from the audience view. And now that's the easy part. Once I get the cables down here, I can just throw a, a rug or a mat that covers the cables. Let me show you. See, there's the cables coming out. Just throw a rug or a mat over that. And I'll cover it and then they'll come out here. You can run this like normally I'll have my facade behind me. All of these cables can go under the facade and then route them to where they're supposed to go. Like if I need to route this to some electricity, it'll be behind the facade or whatever. The customer won't even be able to see that. And then these two cables, I can run one over on that side to a speaker and one over on this side to a speaker. And the speakers will be on the left and right side of my facade. So the audience will not see any cables whatsoever. All the cables will be completely hidden from the audience view. So that's basically it, guys. That's how I do cable management for this particular system. If you have the normal podium style DJ table, of course, you won't have to deal with this. Most of your stuff will be already connected. But what I can say is that I've been doing this for so long. It doesn't take me long to run these cables. It's so quick. I just connect those two cables, run them underneath, run them in the back, run the power. Cut. It's so simple. I can do it really quickly. And then these. I just attach them, run them under, you know, attach them, run them under, attach that. You know, it doesn't take me any more than I'll say five minutes to do all of my cable management. And this is what it looks like from the back. 
So I think this is a pretty neat setup. And it works for me great. I hope you enjoyed this video of cable management for my two legit pro event table. <laughs> Please subscribe, leave a comment and hit the like button. I love reading you guys comments. I do try to respond to them when I can. So you guys know the drill. This is your boy DJ Too Legit. And as always, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.